We're now ready to begin our project. The first thing you will see is our home screen. We have to make our way across the screen, down to our dock, open up iMovie, go to New Project. Once in New Project, we have to open up and choose a theme. After we choose our theme, we have to give our theme a name. I think I'll go with Welcome Back to School as my sample project. And that is how we get started. Importing video comes from two different choices. First, you can use a camera, such as the flip camera that I have here on a tripod that I keep in my classroom. And the second choice is to simply use PhotoBooth. All MacBook computers come with the PhotoBooth program automatically installed. And you can take video as well as still pictures. When making an iMovie, it is very important to stay as organized as possible. So for me, my preference is to use the flip video camera and to store all of my video clips on the desktop of the computer. So I'm going to begin by opening my project. I'm going to slide iMovie slightly to the right. I keep all my video clips organized on the left. So therefore I can see what I have. I have everything labeled. Then I go File. I go Import, Movies, Desktop, and I'll be able to scroll down and the Mac will give me a quick preview of everything that is stored on my desktop. After I find a video clip that I want, I simply click on Import and I will find that video clip in my clip bank. It is simple as that. We are now ready to import. We have to open up our project. We have to move down in our clip bank and we have to look for the exact video clip that we want to import into our timeline. I found the clip of myself, my sample video. I will double click on that. Once it is turned all yellow, I can then simply drag it up to my timeline and it's as easy as that. Good day, parents. Welcome to the 2012-2013 school year. My name is Dwayne Moloch, and I will... Now we are ready to discuss making changes. The first thing we have to think about when making changes is we have to open our project, and we have to look for the I for Inspector. Once we are on the I for Inspector, we have a whole world of things we can do. First, we can look at our video effects. We can go from a romantic effect, black and white, to a dream sequence, to an x-ray. There are many different video effects we can choose. Also, we have many different audio effects we can choose also within the inspector. We can make our video clips have a robot sound, an alien sound, a high pitch, a low pitch. There are about 30 to 40 different ways that we can make our video clips sound. Within the, the toolbar itself, we have a choice of using iTunes music, as well as 500 different sounds that come with the iLife suite. 
We can add text to our videos. There are many different things we can do. Our final step is the sharing process. The sharing is where you will upload your video to the internet, or you may choose to burn it to a CD to give to parents or students or faculty members. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our project, and we're going to go to one of our top tabs that says Share. And within the Share tab, you see many different options. You may choose to send your video to iTunes. You may choose to send it to iDVD. You could choose YouTube. You could choose Facebook, Vimeo, CNN iReport. There are many different places you could choose to send your video.